Today Live. Selena Pompiani joining us here today. David. Happy Thank Wednesday. Thank you for being. Yeah, I keep thinking it's Thursday, but it's only Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. Yeah. We got... But it's my Thursday. I have off on Friday. Oh, okay. Well, way to rub it in. Uh, <laughs> no, good for you. That's fantastic. Oh, yes. yeah. It'll be um, nice. So last week, we showed you the KDK Radio Spaghetti Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Great idea, spaghetti yeah. for breakfast. Great John event. and Larry do this every year. The, the whole gang started this tradition 35 years ago. John Cigna started it, and they serve up spaghetti for, for breakfast for people downtown. Benefits the, uh, the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank, also Little Sisters of the Poor. Well, people reached out to us afterwards mm -hmm. and said, yes, yeah, spaghetti for breakfast is great, but have you had fried spaghetti? I have never heard of fried spaghetti, but it sounds wonderful. I had never heard of this either. Yum. So we did a little research. Mm. We used something called the internet. And <laughs> what did you find out? We David? found out that there are all sorts of recipes for oh. fried spaghetti. So this one, this picture is from Great Chicago Italian Recipes. Uh, but they, uh, this sort of looks like a frittata. It they does actually look add like a frittata. An, an egg to it. Oh. But many of the recipes don't call for an egg at all. It, you just take spaghetti that already has the sauce on it mm -hmm. and then you put it in a skillet with some olive oil. I feel like Rainia. I feel like oh. what Rainia would Rainia. be saying. She's in the building. If she's she listening, Rainia, yes, we want right. some fried spaghetti. We want to learn about fried <laughs> spaghetti. But then, then you fry it. And, and you know, it. and you brown it up a little bit, and it's a great thing for leftover spaghetti, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, but and then I saw one picture. It was like a meatball uh, with a stick in it, and it had fried spaghetti around it, and it was like fried spaghetti on a stick. This was in a Bon Appetit magazine. Wow, bon I Appetit. do know about that magazine. Yeah, so well, I mean, anything fried. It's good in my book. It's so true. I bet fried spaghetti is delicious. So thank you for telling us about it, and we're going to try it. We're going to figure yeah. this out. We're going to figure yeah. out what we're going to do. We'll tell make. Rainia. We're gonna, yeah, Rainia. Next week, Rainia. Let's, let's do this, Rainia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have you heard about this? This is actually a little bit frightening and kind of exciting mm -hmm. at the same time. Facebook wants to build a wristband that can read your mind. This is really odd to me. Yes. What so do you do in Facebook? It is, it's acquired a company right now. It's a startup company that makes brain machine interfacing equipment. So that's a big long title for devices that can basically read your mind. So mm -hmm. I guess like if you're thinking of a restaurant, hey, should I go to a restaurant tonight? Then your, your wristwatch, you know, your smartwatch would understand that and pop up perhaps suggestions. I think that's a little too much. If it I'm could. thinking about something, if I'm thinking about, oh, you know, I want to check out this restaurant, make reservations here, I'll do the work. I, I I'll guess. do the work We're myself. We're not that lazy. We can actually <laughs> yeah. do that. But last year they began working on a thought typing system. So I guess the theory there would be that you wouldn't actually have to type things out, mm -hmm. that you with your brain could tell what, you know. Mm -hmm. What's weird is though, like, if it can figure out what you're thinking and doing, and it's through like electrical impulses or something, I think they said, yep. like, eh, it's like technology gone maybe too far. I think that has gone way too far. Yeah. I don't think I would ever be interested in that wristband. No. no. I wonder if anyone would buy it. I bet. Yeah, I bet some people, people would. People might get into it, yeah. actually. Yeah. I don't know if I would buy it. You know what I would buy, David? What? Coffee. I could go for a coffee right now <laughs> because, as you know, I don't keep coffee in here. Right. <laughs> this is so tell people if they haven't seen before. Oh, yes. What do you keep in your mug? I, I keep my two lipsticks and my Listerine strips. Well, and you know, Rainia will be on the show cooking up a delicious feast for us. So right. I never want to kill David afterward after She's we so eat thoughtful. all the food. So I always keep my strips. Anytime in there. there's garlic in any of the food <laughs> items, she she takes one and then she offers me one. Yes, but I actually have. And it's not coffee though, but I have I have something to drink in here. But yeah. uh, I have a little Perrier bubbly Ooh, water. Ooh, yeah. I love Perrier. Good yeah, sparkling good. water. But we were talking about coffee because you do love I coffee, I love right? coffee so much. And we have some good news about coffee. We do. Yeah, if you want a really good <laughs> cough, cup of coffee, <laughs> you don't have to go far Sounds like we've been all. drinking something <laughs> else, Elena. <laughs> it does. Not today. So Pittsburgh has been named one of the best cities in the country to get coffee. We rank 19th out of the 100 largest cities in the whole country. And this is all according to Wallet Hub. The study looked at things like affordable coffee. Coffee shops and coffee centered events. Seattle, of course, came in first yeah, place. Yeah. Toledo came in last place. But oh. yeah, look at us. And I have been to so many local.
local coffee shops in the area, in downtown, and all over the Pittsburgh area. And there's so many good ones. Yeah, I, I love the so smell of coffee. I'm not a super coffee drinker, mm -hmm. but I love the smell of it. It's just something about great. it. There's yeah. nothing better than waking up to a fresh pot of coffee. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to draft you to put you in a commercial for like the coffee council or something. Oh, <laughs> so I, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you like shopping at the store Peebles, which I don't think has coffee, <laughs> no. uh, but we have bad news and maybe also some good news. So I had never heard of Peebles until my dad starts shopping there. And my dad is all about going to the Peebles and he goes in and finds deals and he's always willing to tell me, you know, what, what he's what he's gotten. Well, the trip has learned that the Peebles in our area are going to be closing, mm -hmm. but many of them will then reopen as Gordman's, uh, a chain I had not heard of, but it's going to happen either. early next year. They're owned by the same parent company, so they have Peebles in Belver. In Elwood City, Leechburg, Meadville, Newcastle, Punxsutawney, and Somerset. All of those stores are going to become Gordman's, and we're told that Gordman's kind of similar to Peebles. It's described as an off price retailer, so they're going to have a big mega closing event, and then they will reopen next year. And all the current Peebles employees, according to the Trib, will be offered jobs at Gordman's. So that is good news. Yeah, it it's is very good news. good news. Yeah, but if you're wondering, fear not, the Peebles will not remain closed. They're reopening. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. and I've never heard of Gordman's either. No, yeah. I think they're sort of out west, Midwest and out west. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well. well, believe it or not, Halloween is sneaking up on us. I'm excited. And if you are making a costume for yourself or your kids, you might want to start thinking about it right now. And that brings us to today's list. Ooh. We have some ideas from Woman's Day magazine that are relatively easy. So listen to these. This is what you could be on Halloween. I like number one. I would love to be number one because <laughs> I love the show, The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. You could be The Bachelorette. It's easy. Buy a long gown or one that you have and just get a single red rose. There you, you go. You need to have the red rose. Otherwise, you're a loser on you The are, Bachelor, right? You are a loser. You're going <laughs> you're home. You're The Bachelor. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. Now, you could be Waldo. Where's Waldo with a striped shirt and round glasses? That's kind of easy. That is Princess Leia from Star Wars, a long white dress. You could put your hair up in those side buns. That's pretty good. Or just get actual buns and, yeah. and pin them on your head. You know, that's that easy. Works in a pinch, you know. <laughs> and if you're really daring, go as Bubble Bath. This was an idea from Woman's Day. <laughs> so cover yourself in white balloons, put on a shower cap, maybe like carry a loofah around. Yeah, you that's know? nice. So we got some some ideas for you. It's the you service we provide here on A PTL. lot of my friends, David, over the years in college they have dressed up as a actual loofah oh, really? and it's super easy and you could buy them anywhere and you're just it's like a, you know from here up and down to your knees it's a actual life-size loofah it's cute I'm not sure I would know. Yeah, I'm not sure I would know what they were dressed as. I would be like, and you're uh, fishing that person. Candy. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we actually we we have a photo we want to show of you oh, dressed yes. up in a homemade costume, right? Or part of it's homemade, right? Yes, from my mother. There we go. Oh, so Chelsea's in this too, and there I am. I'm a little bunny. I'm not sure how old I was. I would say two. Okay, maybe, yeah, I'll have maybe to confirm too. with my mom. I think Look about how two. cute you two are. So yeah, this was all by Lisa. I'm not sure if Chelsea's Jasmine costume was homemade. I'm okay. guessing it wasn't. But, I'll but have the to bunny check on that ears one. were homemade. Yeah, the, not the ears. The the suit I had oh, on, the little okay. bunny suit. Okay. Yeah, and then we yeah. they got the ears. Looking good there, Selena. Oh yes. Okay. All right. Well, from bunnies to dogs. <laughs> yes, we have been talking about all this week. It is National Dog Week, so we are here to celebrate man and woman's best friend. And we actually want to begin with Heather's dog. Heather's Kevin. lovable dog, Kevin. I love Kevin's eyes because he looks like he looks like he knows what you're talking about, and you can't say anything about him because he's gonna. <laughs> No, but anyway, he is lovable and sweet. She sent us this picture yesterday, but uh, he also apparently got into a little bit of trouble, and we have oh some boy. video to chronicle what exactly happened. Kevin, Kevin, come here. Come here. Did you eat, did you eat this entire thing, this entire container of pumpkin drop cookies? Did you? Kevin? Kevin? 
Kevin, come here. <laughs> come here. Yes, he did. Yes. But you, she posted this on her did Insta story, eat? and then yeah. her next did story, I remember it said, I don't even blame him. Yeah, look, here's the thing. If I were Kevin at this point, I would get some counsel. I would get yourself a lawyer. I wouldn't say anything right now. Uh, and you know, he did until it. you're he represented. Did well. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he's following her well. All right, you've been sending in your pictures of some of your dogs all this week on our PTL Facebook page, and now it's time to share some of those because we love this part. We love oh, these dogs. How cute. This is from Cindy Rollinger, and she sent this one in Katie in a Santa hat and glasses. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> I love this. I love when owners dress up the dogs. Yeah. It's the best. And you know what? And she doesn't seem to, Katie does not seem to mind. No, Katie loves it. <laughs> Katie is posing, model. Mm. All right, next up is from Janet Palu Paluka. This is Athena, who is a rescue pup, uh, rescued from the Humane Society eight years ago. Loves laying in the flowers. Oh, so cute. That's a great photo. And then we also want to show from Willard Hall, and this is Mom Chloe and daughter Zoe. They are miniature schnauzers. They are very laid back and the daughter is the watchdog. Oh, so she's so the, the one that barks. protects the mom. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And this is from Merle Fry. This is Rocky, nine years old. We are told loves to watch PTL. So a very smart oh. dog. Clearly also loves going on walks. And it says, I love you, mom, on his pick there. <gasps> so cute. And look at this smiling face. Donna Kish sent us this little sweetheart, Copper. Copper was rescued from South Korea in 2017. So so a big thank you to Jindo Love Rescue for saving him and nursing him all the way back to health. And he is loved beyond words now. So, so many great photos. So many great photos. Thank you for sharing them. We're going to keep showing them all this week. We can't get to them all. So go to the Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page because not only are there great photos, there are great mm -hmm. stories too. And we just love it. So yeah. thank you for sharing. A lot of good stuff there.